you want to be in it. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. That is so crazy. SeatGeek was gracious enough to gift me two tickets to the iHeartRadio Festival in Vegas, which my boyfriend's all-time favorite band is playing there. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, SeatGeek is an app where you can literally get tickets to any event. So I will have the link to SeatGeek down below if you'd like to go download it. And also you can get $20 off your first purchase with the code Avery. So if you want tickets to literally anything, use SeatGeek and you can use my code Avery for $20 off your first purchase. Hi chiming in real quick. What the haven't you people ever heard of? Originally, I was going to surprise my boyfriend with the concert tickets, which I did, but then this freaking idiot broke. I took two days to film this, so the first day I surprised him and I have other footage that I really, really like. And I put it on this and now it's not, it's just, it's broken. The second day I kept the footage on my memory card so I still have that footage or else the whole video would be gone. The footage of me surprising him which was literally some of my favorite footage ever is gone and I'm so sad. But I hope you guys like this video anyway. I literally... Uh, I'm so sad about it. I like talked through the whole entire thing. I was like editing this video. This is like my second time editing it because I was editing and then my hard drive just broke. So then all the footage from that is just gone and I'm so sad about it. I hope you guys like this video anyway. I am so really happy with it. I don't know. I'm just sad that that footage is gone, but what can you do? Nothing apparently, even if you take it to the Apple store because you think it's your computer and uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Okay. Enjoy the rest of the video. Mwah. I'm back. I don't really know how to explain what this video is. I don't even know. I guess it's about me and my boyfriend. I've never talked about my boyfriend before. I have posted some pictures of him and stuff on my Instagram, but I've never really said that we're like actually dating. I just love privacy, you know? Privacy is such a blessing and um, not that all of you guys are like weird little stalker people. I don't know, just some people on the internet are super invasive. Um, that's a given and I know I'm choosing to put this online so therefore like I'm allowing people to look into my relationship a little bit I guess. I'm at his house. I always take the train. If you follow me on Instagram you know I'm literally always on the train. We take the train to see each other because it's just easier instead of driving because we live like over an hour away. So yeah we love to take the train because we can do stuff on it and not have to drive. Today I drove. I brought my dog as you can see. My whole family's gone <laughs> and so I couldn't come down here because I couldn't leave her by herself. So I was like can I bring my dog? Me and Foof are here today at his house and we're celebrating his mom's birthday and we're just kind of hanging out once again thanks to Seat Geek for sponsoring I'm like so excited about that sponsorship because like that's so cool I'll see you guys in the next clips <laughs> I know no one really asked for this, but I wanted to give an update about how this trip is going. So this week has been one of the most challenging weeks of my life, and I'm not sure what I did to deserve all this bad karma, but it's been tough. <laughs> oh, my face. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Uh, Just between struggling with mental health and having the whole hard drive situation, Jens and I started our road trip to Vegas. So I live in Northern Utah. Vegas is about a six hour drive. We decided we wanted to stay in Southern Utah for a night so we could break up the driving. And I also wanted to see my grandparents. So we stayed with them for a night. We were cruising for the first like three hours. Everything was fine. We had about an hour and a half left until my grandparents. We were driving 80 on the freeway because that was the speed limit. There were some cars in front of us. So we couldn't really see that far up on the road. And all of a sudden, I see this big metal part that must have fallen out of someone's truck uh, right in the middle of the road. It was too late to swerve or switch lanes and I... You already know that big chunk of metal blew not only my tire, but chipped a huge chunk out of my rim. Uh, of course, my car starts beeping like crazy, so we pull over. I call someone to come look at my car. He helped me put on the spare. We still had about 100 miles to go until we were at my grandparents' house, and we were terrified to drive that far with a spare on. We went into the next town that we had and luckily Jens's dad was working in the same town that my grandparents live in. So he drove about an hour and came and picked us up and I left my car there. So he picked us up and our four and a half hour road trip turned into a seven hour road trip. Uh, I did not have my car for a while and when I actually wrote this I was not in Vegas and I was really really stressed that we weren't actually gonna be able to make it to the concert You suck at rock band Really? I just played about expert singing and I killed it Okay, but that's singing! Oh, I'm sorry You can sing on any oh, level I'm sorry, it's easy. singing yeah, easy Yeah, on rising. rock band Why is everybody on expert? Yeah. Also, you're saying I don't have a good What's the difference between easy and expert? You have to hit the notes. Okay. Easy, it's like you barely hit the note, and you try this, you have to like get exactly the note. 
I got a 92. Kind of easy. And you got an 88. I'm expert. So I win. Yeah, because Foof was humping me. <laughs> no, she was, man. Not, not was my dog. Yeah, then play the guitar. But I don't want to sing. Can I choose the song? Yeah, nine in the afternoon. We're doing nine in the afternoon, or else. Yeah. <laughs> so we ended up having to take a shuttle to vegas which is okay and i'm honestly not that upset about it because driving to the arena is going to be hard you know because big concert big things you know so i just wanted to give a quick shout out to my grandparents for helping me with my car and just everything and also jen's dad because without them we would literally be toast i also want to say thank you to jen's for just keeping me sane through the whole situation because something like this has actually happened to me before literally almost this exact situation and so it was just really like triggering me and bringing back really bad memories uh and he was just doing a really good job of keep keeping me calm and keeping me sane and company as well so thanks anyways back to me talking about how much i appreciate jen's Jens has been such a teacher for me in my life that I never really thought I needed or even wanted. I was raised to be super independent. I have always hated like asking other people for help. I'm just one of those people that just always want to do things on my own and that can definitely be a blessing and a curse. I think because my mom raised the four of us so independently for many years, I kind of had to grow up fast and be able to take care of myself. So now, especially that I'm grown, I don't expect people to really do things for me if that makes sense i've also had a problem my entire life where my expectations for people are always way too high and people always disappoint me but technically it's my own fault because i'm the one who put those expectations on them so it's technically me disappointing myself i think that's why i've had a really hard time making friends and everything and even just having past relationships because people just always seem to let me down but it's me letting myself down in the end. Jens has obviously taught me a lot about being in a relationship, being a good person and a significant other and all that stuff. He's just also taught me a lot of physical things I have always wanted to do. These examples that I'm gonna talk about may seem really dumb and insignificant, but they're important to me, so I guess that's all that matters. A good example of this is skateboarding. If you guys have seen my skater transformation, you know that I used to literally have a crippling phobia of uh, skateboards or any board with wheels because I don't, I don't really know. I was just always terrified of them. I've just always thought skating was really cool and always wanted to try it, but I was too scared. My stepdad is actually really good at skating and he's tried to get me to do it a few times and I was like, hm, you thought. Jens has been skating for a good couple years now and he pushed me to actually go and buy one after my skateboard transformation or skaterboard transformation video and actually go and buy one and get over my stupid fear. And now it's one of my favorite things to do and I'm still not good and can barely balance on it still, but I love doing it. And I literally would not have ever stepped foot on again if it wasn't for him. I really appreciate that. Thanks. I want it more. <laughs> like nine my older brother started taking electric guitar lessons and he hated it and i was really jealous because i had always wanted to play my instrument my whole entire life but none of my family is musically inclined or talented no offense to them whatsoever so i literally thought it just wasn't possible like i remember telling my mom i wanted to play the violin and we did not have the money for a violin or violin lessons so after that i just kind of gave up on my wanting to play an instrument dreams so my brother played the guitar for like three months before he quit and just went back to playing pokemon forever and eventually I kind of got over the fact that I'll never be able to play an instrument in my life until I realized that now I'm old enough, I'm grown, that if I want to do something, I can actually work at it and be successful at it. I still didn't really think that applied to instruments because I just kind of never really thought about it again. I have wanted to play the piano and the electric guitar for a long time. I wanted to play the piano because Dan Howell played the piano and I just wanted to play the electric guitar because my brother did when I was younger. Quick backstory that no one really asked for. About a month ago, I started filming a completely different video that was like me taking myself on a date and just doing things that made me happy, whatever. Uh, and in that video, I was planning on buying myself a guitar. So I drove to the guitar shop and I was extremely intimidated when I walked in. There was really loud music. All the employees were just so intimidating. They were all older guys that I was scared of talking to and I didn't really know which guitar I wanted to get since I'm such a beginner. I ended up 
standing there for 30 minutes staring at this one guitar that I wanted, but I was too scared to talk to someone about it. So I left, sat in my car, had a whole panic attack. That was just not great. I told Jens after that that I changed my mind and didn't want to get one just because I was so discouraged that I was like just so intimidated by the guitar shop center, whatever. So a few days later when he was up at my house, he convinced me to just go in and at least look at them again um, and kind of just try again, even though it's really not that good of a deal. He just kind of knew it has always been like a dream, I guess, to go out and play an instrument. So we went back to the same place. He helped me pick me one out and I have been so happy since I got it. The amount of joy that this freaking guitar brings me and I'm still not good. I'm still very much a beginner because like I said, my family has no history of being talented. <laughs> I still barely know anything, but I know more than I did before when I started. So I guess that shows some sort of very, 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 very small progress. <laughs> You nerd, you have dolls? <laughs> it's Freddy Krueger. <gasps> you nerd, how does it feel to be a nerd? It's a classic scary movie. I've never seen look, it. Look, Freddy Krueger, Kurt Cobain. You look good in the sliding. Thank you. I'm gonna take a picture of you now. Is it going? Mm -hmm. So, um, I never really filmed an outro, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I know this video is kind of weird just remember that i lost like 50 percent of my footage right before i went out of town so i couldn't really film that much <laughs> why does my head look so big thanks for watching subscribe i'll leave all my links and jen's links down below if you'd like to go follow us peace mm -hmm.